Okay. Welcome to the Bookmap platform, DBED Bookmap. Risk disclaimer, trading equities and futures involves substantial risk of loss and is not suitable for all investors. Past performance is not necessarily indicative of future results. For more information, go to bookmap.com. There is a 14-day free trial of the product. Uh, it comes along with education. Uh, you get the um, uh, Bookmap um, uh, along with the educational course. Uh, and then there are the um, advanced order flow webinars that support the educational course. So uh, that's in the live markets. So uh, uh, you can understand the concepts of, um, of what we're uh, showing here in Bookmap and then see it uh, applied in the live markets. Okay. And uh, there are other resources as well for education. Uh, and uh, if you have any questions, you can reach out to us at support at bookmap.com. Uh, let me show you bookmap.com and uh, briefly just go through it here. Um, <clears throat> so uh, just scroll down a bit. There's an intro video here. Uh, it goes through uh, for a couple minutes of uh, what bookmap is showing you. There's sections here about uh, um, what bookmap is, uh, what the benefits, etc. Uh, the um, I'll have the uh, webinar here. Um, the new webinar for next week. The link uh, in about uh, a couple hours. I'll uh, I'll redo this. So if you want to register for uh, for next week's webinar, uh, you can do it through this link here. Uh, let's scroll down a little bit more. Uh, there's Bookmap for equities, U.S. equities using Nasdaq Total View. Okay, uh, it's an excellent data feed uh, and connectivity. Okay, so Bookmap is a trading platform. Okay, a true platform. Uh, just like uh, NinjaTrader, TT, XTrader Pro, uh, and Interactive Brokers, we also connect to those three platforms via the API. Okay, But we are a platform just like they are, so you can connect Bookmap directly, uh, which is the preferable uh, uh, way of connectivity, uh, because uh, it, you just go directly uh, uh, with the data feed. Uh, it doesn't go through another program, uh, its API, its handling of the data, et cetera. So um, you can just go directly with CQG, Rhythmic, Gain Capital, IQ Feed, Transact, and then with Dev Experts, that's the one for uh, U.S. equities. A note that um, uh, mid-January, when we have Bookmap 7 coming out, we will also connect to cryptocurrencies. And it's not going to be through futures. It's going to be through GDAX, uh, which will be the actual... Uh, you know, exchange for crypto uh, 24 7. All right, uh, here's the free trial that I mentioned. There's Bookmap Basic, Advanced, and Quant. Uh, the Bookmap Basic is $49 per month, it's billed quarterly. Uh, in the Bookmap Advanced is $99 per month, billed quarterly. Uh, you get either or for 14 day free trial, and the difference between the two is primarily the add ons, okay, add on features. One is the ability to trade right from the bookmap chart. Okay, this is a, a, a distinct advantage uh, because uh, you can uh, manage your entries, exits, and uh, trade um, trades through the liquidity heat map that's in front of you. So, for example, you could uh, hide your stops behind areas of high liquidity or front run it to try to guarantee a, uh, a fill to get uh, into the market. Right, um, we have some uh, volume uh, imbalance and order book imbalance indicators, but we also have the large lot tracker and iceberg detector. These are add-ons here that start to um, identify larger players. Okay, so the large lot tracker shows in the limit order book uh, larger players that are holding um, uh, the majority of the liquidity at those levels. Okay, we'll, we'll see it today uh, for sure. I mean, uh, just let me know. Uh, if I don't mention it, but uh, uh, ask questions. Uh, that's what these are, are, are for, these webinars. Uh, the iceberg detector, for example, this is another one that um, uh, a lot of times we'll see liquidity trade, but it wasn't in the order book. So how is that possible? Well, it, it's possible by a, a hidden order, okay? And that would be an iceberg. Um, the uh, And larger players are the ones that use those orders because they don't want to tip their hand. Uh, they don't want you to know how much liquidity they want to get filled. Uh, and then we also have a correlation tracker. Uh, so um, adding different markets on there for areas of confluence. Quants, you can reach out to us. Uh, you'll have your specific needs for your own data, proprietary indicators, etc. Uh, and we will work to customize Bookmap for you. 
Uh, if you need a data feed, um, let's say you're new here to features, well, uh, you can click here, uh, and um, there are four uh, free trials, uh, different um, uh, data providers that offer a free trial, so you can get uh, uh, 14 days of uh, data, uh, as well as 14 days of bookmap for free. Uh, if you can't decide, there's a list here of um, between these three different versions of bookmap, uh, and uh, look at the... Uh, uh, differences and uh, choose the one that's correct for you. Uh, let's see here. Social media, you can follow us here on Twitter uh, at bookmap underscore pro. Uh, here's an example of, uh, let's, let's click on this. Um, this is the uh, bookmap 7. Now, this is just a beta uh, or alpha, I should say. Uh, and this is the ES, uh, as you can see here. And um, uh, look at the, uh, uh, the heat map here. Okay. We have a, a colored heat map for the new version coming out. Okay, great stuff here. Um, I think uh, you guys are just going to love it. I, I have not played around with it. I've seen it many times, but um, uh, I'm really looking forward to uh, using this new version. Okay, so you can see the distinctions a lot clearer uh, with the color. Right now, if you like the the, the grayscale, which I, I like quite a bit. Uh, you can use that as well. It, um, you can add your own custom colors, etc. Um, let's see here. So that's uh, that's our uh, Twitter. If you want to follow us there, uh, and then uh, you can subscribe to our YouTube page. Uh, for those of you who are new here, uh, I would uh, start with some of the intro videos, or you know, watch this video here, uh, and then. Um, uh, maybe get into some of the features and components, some of the uh, user interface, what bookmap is, uh, how to use it, uh, and then uh, dive into these order flow video snippets. And these are great videos. They're very short. Uh, they go through order flow phenomena that uh, bookmap can visualize uh, that uh, other other platforms um, have uh, <laughs> uh, an opacity, level of opacity that you're not really able to see this phenomena. Uh, and uh, and that's in the advantage here that Bookmap gives you, understanding it, um, it with uh, uh, watching these videos and putting the pieces together. Okay, uh, for example, the um, uh, the advanced order flow webinars we go through this kind of co um, content in detail. Okay, so we see these things all the time, um, and um, uh, we uh, re really look at it though and and see the nuances. Um, so, in fact, I'm going to give you, uh, you guys, a, um, a link to the, um, the webinar uh, at 11, and this is for those that are in trial, okay? So, uh, you'll just get it for today. Uh, we usually do that so you guys can get a sneak peek of what's going on in that uh, advanced uh, order flow webinar. Uh, and uh, so, join us uh, in about 20 minutes if you like. Uh, there's the link. and. Um, I'll just click on that and register. All right, well, let's uh, jump into Bookmap and uh, see what's going on here. Let's look at the NASDAQ. We've been following that for a while uh, and um, uh, a little bit of crude as well, but uh, let's take a look at the NASDAQ. It looks like it really wants to break out here uh, above this uh, swing from yesterday, yesterday's high, which is up here at, uh, what is this, uh, uh, 4375. All right, so uh, let's jump into Bookmap and see what's going on here. Okay, interesting stuff right off the bat. Okay, notice notice the uh, the breakout here, strong breakout to the upside. This is at 10.15, and uh, you can see very high liquidity here. That's what all of this white area is. It's, it's high levels of liquidity. These are traders that want to sell. And uh, we can see how notice how we we broke through that area very uh, decisively, up into higher levels of liquidity that are up here, as you can see. Uh, and then we've pulled back now, and look at them on the bid. Okay, so you know we we're, we're flipping. Uh, it's not technically a flip of the book, but uh, uh, that's kind of another another thing. But it, the, the the this is a higher time frame kind of view, and they have flipped from the offer to the bid. So now they're bidding at these levels. All right. So um, uh, interesting stuff to see. So the probability looks pretty good that we're going to accept above this 6436 area here. Okay. All right. So what I just covered is um, a little bit of what we go through, um, a very basic uh, uh, 
uh, idea here that we go through in the advanced uh, order flow webinars. Um, so maybe that's a, a little um, uh, not, not very clear or understandable. What am I looking at here? What is all this stuff? Well, let, let's define it. It's, um, it's actually really simple uh, stuff. Um, it, in fact, it, it looks like it's complex. There's only three elements here on the chart. Okay, it's um, the historical best bid and offer, and there's the volume that traded on that historical best bid and offer. Okay, that's with the volume dots. Uh, and then uh, lastly, we have this liquidity heat map, the grayscale. Okay, and uh, that's the historical uh, of the limit order book, the DOM. So when you see those numbers in the dome, well, that's been recorded in this heat map. Okay, so that's all it is. And there's just three elements here. Uh, in fact, uh, we, ha we do have an indicator sub-panel. We have all sorts of features. Uh, we also have automated trading strategies up here, uh, the chase, escape, and uh, execute. Um, there are many, many different features here. Uh, but uh, uh, the heart of it uh, is, are these three elements. Okay, and uh, I'm going to close up and turn off all of these other elements uh, so we can really um, uh, define this. And I'm going to turn on a candlestick chart because that's what we're accustomed to accessing. All right. Okay, and let's zoom out a little bit. All right, so this is a five-minute candlestick chart. And... Um, uh, we, we know that uh, open high low close of a five minute period is, is what is being displayed. Okay, the, um, the problem here uh, is it's aggregated. Uh, this candle is showing us what happened within a five minute period. But between this candle and these other candles, what's, what's going on? How did, how did price move like this? It didn't go straight up like this. Uh, there's going to be microstructures in here. And um, uh, that's the problem with the candlestick chart is it's aggregated or any of these bar charts. Uh, so we really can't see exactly what occurred in the microstructure. Okay? And that's really easily um, alleviated here by showing just historical best bid and offer. All right. So look at there's a little microstructure here, uh, for example. It came up into this high here and it kind of paused for a little bit. Uh, and, then it, and then it went off to the upside, okay? And uh, we can see the retest back down into where, okay? In fact, we can draw a line across here. There's a low here. It was broken, okay? We came back into that area right here, all right? And um, this is going to be... Um, more in line with a lot of volume profile. If you guys uh, trade a uh, volume profile, uh, you know, there's going to be a, a, a bigger volume profile in this area. And um, a price did not uh, want to accept lower. Okay. So um, uh, it bounced. It went sideways for a bit. And then the buyers came in here and moved price to the upside. Okay. So um, this is a nice little breakout, in fact, uh, because uh, uh, pretty strong because uh, then we uh, kind of uh, went back and forth here at a higher level. We didn't even get a pullback to where we broke from here. Uh, and then uh, we went up again to the, uh, to the upside here. All right, so um, we, if we want to understand what happened within some of these candles, well, we can just zoom right in. Okay, this is what happened. Within this five-minute period here, okay, here it's broken into minutes with each vertical dotted line. Okay, uh, we went sideways for a bit and we broke above. We kind of based here for a little bit and then broke higher. Okay, we're going to see a lot of aggressive buying uh, on the volume in these areas. So that's another issue here that the candlestick chart is just not showing you. Uh, you have no no clue where the volume traded. Uh, this is uh, a really important aspect uh, with um, that's lacking here in the aggregated uh, uh, chart uh, view uh, with, with bars or rotations or even Renko bars, whatever it might be. Uh, we really don't have the context of where the volume traded, how much, uh, and um, uh, what type. 
okay, aggressive buying or aggressive selling. And uh, that, that's a problem here. Uh, so we can uh, easy, easily see solution by turning on the volume dots. Okay, so now here on this historical best bid and offer, I'm showing you exactly where the volume is trading. Okay, how much, what type, uh, and where. Uh, we also uh, have the context of the microstructure, okay, on that historical best bid and offer. Okay, so uh, and that's an advantage over looking at a footprint chart, okay, because that footprint chart is going to be aggregated as well. Okay, the footprint chart is going to give you the volume and, and where and how much, um, uh, but not really when, uh, because it's going to be aggregated within that chart uh, or bar. Okay, whereas here we, we see the distinction. Okay, so this little uh, move to the upside, there's not a whole lot of volume here. I mean, there it is, you know, uh, it's not bad. Okay, and and then we we look at the little areas we come down into here. And we don't find any sellers. Okay, we do find a few here. Uh, let me zoom into this area, and because I want to show you exactly what Bookmap is um, a displaying here. Okay, because we only we only have two elements here on the chart right now: historical best bid and offer. Okay, offer is the red line, bid is the green line, uh, and then we have the volume that traded there. Okay, and we're showing you the aggressor. So a green dot is an aggressive market buy order. We consider it uh, aggressive uh, because they crossed the, the uh, spread. Uh, they they paid up for this uh, um, uh, price and uh, and they took liquidity. They did not provide liquidity. They did not. They did not wait. Uh, they just uh, wanted in and uh, pressed the market buy button. And the green dot is painted here in Bookmap. Okay, red is uh, an aggressive market sell. Uh, let's see here, Edson. Uh, the bottom where we see the vertical volume, is it possible to increase the visual? Oh, yeah, 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 down here, okay. Um, all right, well, um, what you're, what Edson is asking about is the, um, uh, there, there's also a subchart here uh, of volume, okay, like the traditional subchart. Uh, and yeah, you can uh, you can just uh, grab uh, the this little red line here and uh, move it up and down. Um, yeah, so uh, that's there as well. Uh, but again, like the subchart, <laughs> this is the problem with the, the subchart. And, um, you know, I, I like the subchart uh, as well, but this is great. All right, so I see that, the, you know, uh, almost 25 contracts traded here. But I don't know where. Okay, I, I know it's been recorded, but I don't know where. And I don't have a context and structure. Okay, and that's where footprint charts and, uh, and book map uh, uh, provide that insight. The the only difference being that uh, we're showing it graphically instead of numerically. Uh, and the other big difference is we're showing it in terms of the microstructure uh, and um, uh, the footprint chart does not. It's just going to show a bigger bar within an aggregation. All right. So um, this is a, a really powerful uh, aspect here of book map. Uh, we are able to look at sub-second levels here uh, and really zoom in and see exactly what traded. Uh, and uh, we're looking here at milliseconds, but I can continue to zoom in here. And we can look at uh, microseconds, millions of seconds. We can go down further into nanoseconds and look at billions of seconds. Okay, uh, We came from the high frequency environment. Uh, and um, that's originally what this product was uh, designed uh, to display. Uh, but um, uh, the, uh, uh, you know, we wanted to see where uh, algos uh, were getting filled uh, and how they were performing. Uh, so we needed to go into that sub-second level. Okay, but that, that doesn't help us as a retail trader unless you're trading uh, algorithmically. Um, so as I zoom out, though, Okay. Although I have every single event recorded here in Bookmap, okay, as I zoom out, we'll just visually aggregate that into a bigger dot. Right. So that's what we're showing uh, in Bookmap, uh, and you'll note that uh, there's some pie displays here of of both buying and selling. Okay. It just means that uh, you'll see as I zoom in, like I pull it all apart, and and this is really what occurred. Okay. So there's some selling in here as well. 
right? You can see there's some latency here between best bid and offer and uh, and the traded volume. Uh, that that can happen when uh, there's a, a really high flurry of activity. But uh, as I zoom back out, I've just aggregated it all together, and and we get the overall sense of what occurred here. Now, for those of you who like the numeric uh, values, you can use this data tip tool and hover over here. And you can see this is for a volume of 191 contracts. You get the date, the time, what was on the bid here, and the volume. Okay. This phenomena here uh, is an important one that we go through in the education. Okay. This is called a sweep of the order book. Uh, and um, uh, the um, anatomy of this sweep uh, is that uh, basically the buyer came in and said, I just want in, and I want in as much as I can get. Uh, to, to a specific level or uh, with a specific number of contracts. So if there's like 15 contracts here uh, and, and they trade 20, well, they're going to sweep this contract or the 15 contracts and go up and trade five more, one tick uh, higher. That's what a sweep is. Okay. And uh, you see massive sweeps all the time. All right, so uh, in fact, we see the sweep, and this is very typical. We get a pullback to where we swept from right here, one and two. Uh, and um, anyway, uh, that's uh, uh, more for the, uh, uh, you know, get into the course material, but uh, it's just the basics. And it's, it's really, it's a simple concept, but it's, it's really profound because we now have traded, okay, to a higher level. And it returned back uh, uh, to the level, and it accepted higher. Right, so that's what happened here, uh, and um, uh, and we continued higher, and it's still bullish. Okay, but that move took place down here. Right, I mean originally it took place down here as we broke out, and then see the same phenomena here where I drew in, drew in this uh, this uh, horizontal line. Okay, now. Right, I've only gone over two elements here on the chart. That's the volume and the historical best bid and offer. That third element is the limit order book in the, in the uh, current and historical uh, order book. So let's take off the candles and let's turn on the heat map here. Okay, and let me zoom in. All right, so here's our order book. Uh, look at these high levels of liquidity here. Okay, the, this uh, uh, these white areas here. You can see that the order book, the current order book here, is your dome. These are uh, contracts uh, lined up at specific levels where people want to trade. They're providing liquidity here. These numbers are always changing in the market. They're pulling and adding liquidity all the time. You see the numbers change, you'll see the heat map change. Okay, so we have it graphically in this window here. This is your graphical uh, dome. And uh, we're showing the best bid and offer here in the last traded volume. All right, so high levels of liquidity. They're up here at 45 and 45 and a half, and they're down here at 38 and a half. Okay, the larger players. Now, where <clears throat> this really gets uh, interesting and useful is not just the current um, uh, dome uh, or market, but we record it. We take this data and record it and project it onto the chart. So we just noticed in this little area here, these striations, someone came in with higher liquidity and um, they were a little more aggressive. They wanted to be a seller, a tick lower. And then they pulled though, okay? So there's all sorts of things that we start to understand and put into context here, uh, not by just only reading the volume, but reading the auction, okay? And the intent of these um, uh, traders at these levels, do they want to, to trade or not? And uh, we can answer those questions. So, for example, we just tested into this high level at 45. Well, let's zoom in here. Okay. What really occurred here? Okay. Well, you can see what, what occurred. Um, uh, we know precisely what occurred. Uh, this level at 45, they started to pull liquidity. Okay. So uh, it was very high over here for 71, then 68, 66, 64. Okay, 63, and then in this area here, 60, All right? Let's zoom in a little bit more, okay? So here, 
actually all of those levels, all of that traded here, those 60 contracts. Here, here's our, here's the volume dots. Okay, the aggressor, they swept the book. They swept it a couple ticks higher, and they took all of those 60 contracts that were here on the uh, on the offer. Okay, so that's what occurred. Uh, and and um, where this gets insightful is we know that the intent of these traders at these levels. Okay, uh, they started to pull some of it, but then you know a lot of it traded. So. A lot of traders will look at the limit order book and they'll say, well, you know, these numbers are, are always changing. They're always adding and pulling uh, liquidity and, it, and it, it's just, uh, it's fake liquidity. Uh, it doesn't, you know, you don't need to know about it. Well, it's really important data actually. And we, we can precisely know what occurred. Okay. By, by just looking at it here. Uh, and uh, so now we have that understanding uh, that those traders at this level, uh, they traded. Okay. Some of it was pulled, but the uh, majority of it traded. Okay, and then we can also see, let's zoom back in there because uh, some good stuff. Uh, you can also see here how they, they pulled uh, at this level here uh, up at 45 and a half, and uh, they're adding actually at, at higher levels up here. So the context of these three layers here, they're layering in, okay, on the offer with high liquidity. Uh, some of it traded. And then some of it was pulled here, and uh, uh, you can see where they pulled and, and added right in this little area here to higher levels. Okay, and then they they added back in uh, here, as you can see. It's got to be the same players because as soon as they um, uh, pull liquidity here, they add it down here. Okay, in the same moments. All right, so now we have a context and understanding of an auction. Right. And uh, if they're going to start pulling at some of these higher levels, well, then the target's going to be higher, okay? Because they don't want to deal here. They want to deal up here. And this guy down here, well, who knows? Like, is he layering in, uh, looking for a reversal? Uh, and, a, 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 with, you know, comfortable with it going against him? Or is he flipping out here uh, at, at some of these levels? That, that we don't know. Uh, but um, we can start to... Uh, you know, look for um, uh, behaviors in here and, and start to piece it together. Okay. So, um, uh, you know, I mean, we, we broke through decisively. Okay. We did not come up to 49 or we have the half figure up here at 50. Uh, but you can see, look at them starting to show interest on the bid down here. Okay. So again, we can, we can kind of look at this here uh, and uh, start to understand uh, the context that this is kind of where we broke from this little swing here, right? And uh, swept the book higher. And look at them on the bid here now at 42. Okay, so they want to buy. They want to buy here. They think this is a deal. Okay, that this this is uh, not overpriced. Uh, the the want to buy on the pullbacks here. Anyway, all sorts of things to uh, start to piece together, and that's what we do in the advanced order flow webinars. So you guys have the link there. I'll, I'll paste it again, uh, and uh, you can join me over there. All right? Okay, guys. If not, then have a good weekend, and we'll catch up with you next week.